Well, I guess I'm going to school. Back to school, little Winston, back to school. I am very calm, actually. I'm not overly anxious, excited, or whatever, but I, I did order coffee, so that could change soon. Ah, last night, the class seemed to consist of mostly 20-something year old students, which would actually put me at a high age. Um, I don't know if that's the case, but just from a glance, it seemed like everyone was in their 20s. Um, and I'm 30 in a couple months, so I guess I'm somewhere on the upper end of that age range. But they all seemed interested in studying and learning about different parts of the world. So, and coming from different walks of life, different parts of the U.S., only one non-United States citizen or native, and that was a woman named Helena from Germany. So, we shall see. Thailand is a popular destination, it seems. Lots of uh, spicy food, and it seems to be, uh, I guess, um, it's, a high, it's high on the list for people to visit, so I'm not surprised that a lot of people want to work there. Uh, I would be willing to work there someday myself, uh, definitely. Vietnam is a you know, communist country, politics is totally different, infrastructure is run done differently, so I think it'd be, you know, a great experience to live in a country like that, but in terms of pure enjoyability, Thailand looks pretty good, so not surprised at all. How was your first day of class? First day of class was very nice. It was fun, we met all the people, we learned everyone's name, and... Uh, went over materials and expectations and stuff. Nothing too difficult. I'm enjoying the process so far. We'll see if it continues. How was your night going? Night's going great. Hanging out with some of my fellow students. Uh, just had dinner and uh, we're having an after dinner drink. It's only like 7.30 I think. So we've got a time for the night to go. I live in a country too. Yeah, I, live, I hear people live in those. I live in, in the country. So what? I sweat. It's hot. You sweat too when you're here. Yep. I've been sweating a lot today. Yeah. And everyone else here sweats. Okay. So this isn't a thing to be ashamed of in this part of the world. It's just normal life. Good to note. So how is class going? Good. It's nap time. No, Winston. It's interview time. Why? Yada. Yada. <laughs> no, seriously. I'm serious, Vincent. I need stuff for the website. Okay, what do you want to know? Um, I want to know that you're learning a whole lot and that you're making friends and yes, not enemies. That is correct. Can you expand on that? <laughs> I also like to read books about Buddhist philosophy and pacifism peace in the world through our own compassion towards people and other things. Okay. What did you learn today in class? Today I learned a bit about writing dialogue for most important elements such as age, language level, content, and then context. What did you learn yesterday? Yesterday I learned how to fart. What? <laughs> That's totally not appropriate. It's Try again. Totally 
appropriate. Winston, what did you learn yesterday? I learned... What did I learn? I learned the phonemic alphabet, and subsequently I forgot the phonemic alphabet. Great. Yes. Glad to see all this money and hard work going to And then I use. farted. Winston, you're ruining it! <laughs> I'm going to have to edit all this out! No, oh not. my gosh! Farting is completely acceptable on our vlog. Thank you very much. No, not on my videos that I'm making. Winston! Yes, it is. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're killing me, Smalls. Uh-huh. Okay, do you have anything else useful or helpful to say? No, but... I can tell. The ceiling is kind of cool. Okay. It's recessed and... That's a cut. Thank interesting you. Interesting designs. Go home. Congratulations! You have just completed the first two weeks. What are you going to do? Pretty nice weekend. Beach, motorbike, speedo, you'll be seeing plenty of that, I'm sure, in the future. Spoiler alert, it's a speedo. I'm at the border of Cambodia and Vietnam, and we are walking across the border like political refugees from Cuba. It doesn't look uh, too secure. Well, it's the kind of border I like. I don't see any guns. And everyone crossing, well, most everyone who's crossing is with a tour company. So they're on a bus and the company just kind of like takes everyone's passports, stamps them, get them, gets them stamped, fills out whatever needs to be filled out, and we just pay the fee. We already have visas going back in Vietnam, so we didn't have to pay a fee this time. So. Yeah, no guns. Pointing at my face. I like that. Only other borders I've driven across are, I've been across on a land border, are Canada. I guess I was technically going between Italy and France once when I was in high school, but I don't remember what that border crossing was like. And that was on a bus, I believe. Speaking of which, here's our bus. Ain't she a beauty?